so hot. I yeah. don't know what to talk about. Yeah. Soup? No. Stew? Gazpacho? Ah. Uh, no. I mean, what could we possibly cover? I Are you thinking what I'm thinking? Yes. This looks amazing. I just want to know what makes ice cream ice cream. I'm so glad you asked, Kristen. It turns out there's a complex truth behind the deceptively simple summer treat. Ice cream, from a technical standpoint, is an emulsion. One liquid into another that's neither soluble nor miscible. Whoa. Whoa. Now hold on to your hat, Ben, because... Because ice cream is also technically a foam, a gas dispersed in a liquid by virtue of air held in place by chemical stabilizers like xanthan gum dispersed in the liquid of sugar and milk and fat. Try yep. it out. That's an emulsion and a foam. An emulsion and a foam, yes. you say? with sprinkles. I'm gonna dive right in. Hey, I wouldn't do that if I were you. You are playing with fire. You know why it hurts when you bite into ice cream? It's because that cold is so cold it gets into your tooth's insides, inside the pulp, from your enamel to your dentin, right into the inner guts of your tooth. That's where all the nerve endings are, and that cold tells your brain, ouch! Watch out, man! But why does my head hurt? Dr. Sunday here, and I'm fine. This is my buddy here to demonstrate an ice cream headache. Turns out that those have been around in medical literature since the 1850s. A fancy name for it is a cold stimulus headache. Your mouth has a lot of blood vessels right there in the palate. When you eat something really cold, it stimulates these blood vessels. There's also a bunch of nerves in there. When those nerves get stimulated by the cold, they freak out. Oh my gosh, my whole body's freezing. We have to save the brain by over overheating it. Fact, 30 to 50 percent of people who have ice cream headaches don't have any other headaches. Fact, if you have migraines you're more likely to get ice cream headaches. But don't worry because they usually last less than five minutes. Back to you. Hey, do you like eating ice cream? Well, turns out you've been doing it all wrong. But it's not too late. All you need is an ice cream cone and an extra cone. Put that cone on top Oh yeah. Is it working? Kinda. The history of ice cream stretches all the way back to China, where the emperors of the Tang Dynasty are believed to have been the first to eat a quote, frozen milk-like confection. In modern day China, ice cream isn't all that common. We do find frozen ice cream-like desserts all around the globe. In Japan, you eat mochi. In India, it's kulfi. Italians love gelato, while the Turkish cool down with dandurma. In Ghana, fan ice is the local frozen treat. And for the world's largest consumer of ice cream, we head over to the United States. You know what's funny, Ben? Oh. Even though ice cream is the number one treat of the summer, mm -hmm. it actually makes you hotter <laughs> when you eat it. It takes the body more energy to burn the fat in ice cream so it actually raises your internal temperature over time. If ice cream is not gonna cool us down, it's time for our last resort. Spicy food? Spicy food. Let's get it. <laughs>